സുവർണ ഗർഭ വസുന്ധര മദർ ഏർത്ത് വോംബ് ഇസ് എൻ അൺഇമാജിനബിൾ ട്രെജർ ട്രോവ് Amongst all metals found so far in the earth's crust, gold is the most precious one. Gold not only symbolizes an individual's prosperity, but also represents the strength of a nation. Mining for gold is one of the most ancient industries known to human civilization. In India, gold occurrences are noticed in various states, but few are economically viable. Gold occurrences are found in very rugged areas of Karnataka too. Parched lands and dusty winds are the trademark of Raichur district, one of the most backward areas in the country. But what makes it rich is its gold deposits. India's only producer of primary gold, the Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited, a government of Karnataka undertaking, conducts its exploration mining and metallurgy operations here The historical gold mining at Hatti could be traced to as far back as the pre-Ashokan period which was over 25 centuries ago But the modern mining started only around 1880 From 1880 to 1920 gold mining was undertaken by Messrs John Taylor and Sons for Hyderabad Deccan Company owned by the Nizams of Hyderabad after Indian independence in 1947 the Hyderabad Gold Mines Company was incorporated with the formation of Mysore state in the year 1956 the company was renamed the Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited in the year 1985 the Chitradurga Copper Company and the Karnataka Copper Consortium Limited were amalgamated with the Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited. Since 1997, comprehensive modernization and expansion programs are being conducted to maintain the high standards in gold mining. HGML operates the Hatti Gold Unit with two satellite mines at Uti and Hira Budini along with the Chitradurga Gold Unit. The total capacity of these mines is about 5,50,000 tons per annum. The Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited is increasing its capability every year and the production stood at over 2,360 kilograms of gold during the year 2011-2012, resulting in a profit of nearly 200 crore rupees. Namaskara. Namma Hatti Chinnagani ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲೇ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಚಿನ್ನದ ಗಣಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಟ್ಟಿ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಗಣಿ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರದಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ಮುಂಚೂಣಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಚಿನ್ನ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆಯಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಮತ್ತು ಲಾಭದಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಜನತೆಗೆ ಏನು ಉಪಯೋಗ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಕೈಗೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಹಟ್ಟಿ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಜನರ ಒಡನಾಡಿಯಾಗಿ ಅವರ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಗಳಿಸಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಈ ಮಟ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಬರೋಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಂಪ್ನಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲರ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕರ ಎಲ್ಲರ ಜನತೆಯ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಂಪನಿ ಉತ್ತುಂಗಕ್ಕಿರಿದೆ ದ ಹಟ್ಟಿ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿಪಾಸಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಕೇನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಹಟ್ಟಿ ಮಾಸ್ಕಿ ಪ್ರೀ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರನ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿಪಾಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಕರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ ರಾಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೆಟಬಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ವಾಲ್ಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ರಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಮಿನರಲ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಸಲ್ಫೈಡ್ Gold occurs with quartz veins and sulfide minerals in different forms including microscopic and submicroscopic particles. The gold ore is produced with a variety of advanced mining technology by using bulk mining methods such as large dia blast hole stoping and sublevel mining which are known for higher safety and productivity. The production starts with mining followed by crushing and then extraction the ore extracted will be first transported through huge capacity shaft ore bins to a crushing circuit this circuit uses different varieties of crushers to transform the ore into fine powder this powder will be weighed using an automatic sampler and then will be projected for the production process using five different kinds of reefs after this 
the grinding process of gold ore takes place. The grinding and milling process would produce two different concentrates, namely the steak tables concentrate and the Nelson concentrate. It is then further upgraded to produce a smeltable grade of gold. These concentrates are then projected through chemical processes called cyanidation and carbon in pulp process. This helps the concentrate lose excess water and converts it into pulp. Then the leaching process happens with the help of different alkali, passing it through carbon and agitating with activated carbon in suspension. The gold loaded carbon is then passed through columns and is recovered in electrolytic cells using steel wool as a cathode on which the gold is deposited. The gold is then refined as James Table Concentrate, which is roasted, magneted, and finally smelted into bullion buttons. The entire process is done carefully and through technologically advanced methods. This not only makes the process highly efficient, but also eco-friendly. Nature is more precious than gold is the belief that has made HGML one of the most eco-friendly companies of the country. More than 80,000 seedlings of over 28 species have been planted and nursed in an area exceeding 50 hectares. A study was undertaken in association with the University of Agricultural Sciences, Dharwad, to discover the reusing and recycling possibilities of the tailing at Hatti. The green mat and green plantation have been successfully developed over and around the tailing dumps, a most scientific way of containing tailing. These measures have made the nearby villages pollution-free as the challenge of fly dust has been contained successfully. Verdant greenery has been maintained at whole exploration and mining areas, giving an aesthetic touch to the modern facility. In addition to creating awareness about the environmental impact of plastic, HGML has introduced non-polluting electric vehicles on campus to communicate the importance of the company's green initiatives to the employees specifically and to the public in general. HGML is also active in developing renewable energy and is generating in excess of 9 megawatts of wind power at the Chitradurga Gold Unit. Establishment of a biofuel park and a clonal orchard to raise the mother species plants for biofuel development is underway, both in association with the Karnataka State Biofuel Development Board. With the proposed establishment of biogas and biodiesel plants, the dependence on fossil fuel would be reduced drastically. The employees are constantly trained in ecologically healthy practices and these methods are strictly implemented. Such proactive actions of HGML highlight the company's commitment towards reducing global warming. The company has faced several challenges in the years of its existence. It turns every challenge in its way into an opportunity to perform better. The company is equipped with a state-of-the-art R&D section and assay laboratory recognized by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Its services are also available to outsiders on a payment basis. The company also has an important economic significance as it is located in one of the most dry and hot belts climatically along with economic backwardness. The company also offers a set of multiple skill development training and conducts various health awareness programs from time to time. The company has been contributing to a great extent to the national exchequer in the form of payment of various state and central taxes, duties and royalties. The Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited has a huge workforce of around 4,000 employees. The company trains them with the highest level of security and working disciplines. 
it has established a 120 bed community hospital with an operation theater, ICU, ultrasound scanner, blood bank, and so on. The facility has over 20 doctors along with over 150 paramedical staff. The company also provides accommodation, cooperative stores, and educational facilities to its employees, which are further extended to the villagers nearby. A range of facilities like subsidized canteens, drinking water, free power supply, playgrounds, stadium, community center, food kits, the cost of one LPG cylinder per month, cable television facilities, and so on, are also being provided regularly. Keeping in mind the growth of the company, the Board of Directors magnanimously, with the approval of the state government, signed a historic 23% wage revision agreement with the labor union. Besides this, officers were also sanctioned generous perks and allowances. Since the Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited operates in one of the most backward areas of the country, it was but natural for the company to feel for the people surrounding it. As a socially responsible company, it has contributed 4 crore rupees towards providing a drinking water facility for Hatti village. It has also built an auditorium, bus stand, community toilets and about 1,000 houses so far in the region spending close to 15 crore rupees. Today, more than 1,000 students study in 33 institutions started by the company. On top of all this, the company has also contributed 30 crore rupees to the Karnataka Chief Minister's Relief Fund. Direct and indirect monetary contributions for infrastructural and educational development has helped in hastening the social development of the region. HGML has two satellite mines around it, namely the Uti Gold Mine and Hirabuddini Gold Mine, along with the Wandali Gold Mine and Mangalur Gold Mine. The Ajjanahalli Gold Mine in Tumkur district and the Ingaldal Copper Mine in Chitradurga district are in active consideration for mining. HGML has carried out intensive exploration in various parts of Karnataka and has got an approved PL for further exploration. Nature has provided the deposits. The company rose to the challenges and optimized its use for the common good. In future, the company intends to build a new shaft for production at Hatti along with new phases of mining in some unexplored zones of active mines. With a view to ensuring sustainable development in the mining areas both existing and in the future, the company has commissioned an expert committee to formulate a master plan covering over 70 villages in the district of Raichur. It also intends to expand to different areas of energy production like wind power and so on. HGML has been the first Indian and 40th member of the World Gold Council and has demonstrated its global standard in its production. Its performance has been recognized with the honor of the annual Chief Minister's Ratna Award. With all its new projects in the pipeline, the company intends to scale up the production from the present 2.5 tons per year to over 5 tons of gold per year very soon. The Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited has proposed a subsidiary venture called Hatti Gold Videsh, a proposal which is before the state government for approval. With its skills in the areas of prospecting, exploration and mining, the company is poised to offer world-class exploration, production and technical consultancy to various agencies worldwide. Hatti Gold Videsh aims at building collaborative relationships with international partners and establishing overseas divisions of the company. Through this program, the company intends to identify suitable joint venture partners for new projects in India and abroad. Various seminars, conferences and exhibitions will be organized, aiming to attract investments in the bullion industry. The gold deposits, as I would say, is present in one of the most backward spots of not only our state, but I would say even our country. 
the entire population to the tune of 50,000 and more in and around the Hatti camp is totally dependent upon uh, the company for their livelihood. I am very happy to say we have a very, very responsive and responsible workers union, the, ex the office bearers of the union, the members of the union, our employees are very enthusiastic about the initiatives which our company has taken. Hatti Gold Mine is not just a company in the business of producing gold. We are very well uh, aware of our responsibilities. It could be a social responsibility, the envir environment responsibility. Hatti Gold Mines not only would remain as a producer of gold, it would also help the other countries and other parts of India to locate, explore, process gold so that we would be considered as a helping hand uh, in improving the economy of the other states and uh, other countries. The Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited is built on a long-term vision and a clear mission. It intends to become one of the most vibrant, self-reliant, financially viable, growth-oriented and humane organizations. It intends to bring in growth and profit to all its stakeholders and become the most innovative firm to attain efficiency in production and in all its business processes. The Hatti Gold Mines Company Limited, one of the most eco-friendly, labor and community-friendly companies, has resolved to reach newer horizons and etch its name in the glittering pages of the economic history of Karnataka and the nation by continuing its golden saga of enriching lives.